Okay, welcome back to a little short video showing how to set the uh, G1 speeds manually, the print speeds, and to be able to set them zone by zone. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a G code that we can play with. So let's add some G code action here. And um, there you go, that's your G code. Now, uh, you can see here that the speed, the default speed, looks like it's 1800 which is 30 millimeters a second. A little bit fast for a small part like this. We're going to slow it down because this is a small round part and we want to get beautiful, beautiful circles out of it. So we're going to slow it down just a little bit, give it time to cool from layer to layer. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'll go here to G0, G1. And I'm going to click set all G1 speeds to and it will set them all to 1500 because that's what this is set for. And now you'll see right here, see how it's set to 1500. Okay, now we've done that. We're going to want to even slow it down more. So if you look at this part right in this zone right here, this is the area where we're going to want to start more cooling and slow it down because this is a very small shaft. It's only on the order of about eight millimeters OD. So uh, certainly not more than 10 millimeters and it might be as small as five or six. I mean, from here to here is 10 millimeters. You can see that's smaller than that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to view and we're going to check single layer and we're going to slide that sucker right on up. Now there you go. You see how it's right where it's, it's in its zone. So you can click on this and it'll say go to layer and it uh, takes you right to the layer that it's at. And then you can insert and we're going to crank the fan up all the way to 100%. And we're also going to insert... Uh, changing the head temperature up to 240 and the reason why we did that was when the fan comes on you need to you need to bump up your head temperature your quested head temperature in order for it to have a chance of even coming uh, maintaining the, the the temperature at around 230 where we normally print the ABS uh, we have some higher wattage heater elements that are in testing right now uh, when they become available we'll let everybody know it takes like 15 minutes to swap one out it's not that difficult um, and certainly it'll have some effect on it. There are two changes uh, that we're looking at doing on the design to make these uh, specific types of parts more possible. Maybe you'd get an MK1 uh, next-gen head. Maybe call it the MK1 Plus or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so now you see that. You'll also notice that if we go to G0, G1, notice we're on layer 84 right here. If you click right here on G0, G1, it's already set to 84. As you move the slider bar here, uh, the upper bar controls, uh, so I, now it says 87, and I will go back to uh, our G0, G1, you'll see it says 81, set 87, sorry. Uh, it, they stay in sync with each other. So now I'm going to set the speed down to 800 here from layer 87 on. Okay, and you'll notice it still says 1500 here, but if we go to layer 87, which we can do easily by just clicking on this, uh, we're at 87, you notice now it's 800 from here down, whereas up here before that it's 1500. So this is very handy, so in this particular part, uh, we'll show you the whole thing. From here up it's a small diameter, it's like a smokestack, and that would finish it. If you wanted to swell up here and change the speed, then all you would want to do is uh, Go back to single layer mode, run it up near the top, we'll say like right there where it was starting to swell up again, and then you could uh, run your speed back up again by again setting the speed back and clicking um, set G1 speed from this layer forward. Okay, so um, there you go. That's it in a nutshell. That's how you set the uh, speed manually in different zones. Okay.